Here's everything you need to know before you come into medical school. It will take time before you figure out your ideal study method and study system. Don't expect to come in on day one and to have everything figured out. Too many students do this and they panic when they don't have things figured out by week one or week two. It's absolutely fine. It took me like three or four weeks to figure out my system and then I was smooth for the rest of the four years. So don't worry about it, just be patient with yourself and give yourself time. Make friends with the students in the year above you. These guys have literally just done the exams that you're about to do and they were successful. So you should learn from them and ask them for the best advice. They probably made mistakes and if you ask them, they'll tell you what the mistakes were and that saves you making them as well. Learning how to cook, clean, organize your time, budget and balance your health and fitness and social life is just as important as your study techniques. People forget that aside from being a medical student, you are also a human being. If your study technique is amazing, but you're sleeping really bad, you're not eating well and you don't exercise much, you're probably not gonna be in the best of health and you won't be able to perform to the best of your abilities. So actually cooking, cleaning, eating, all of these different mundane life activities that people don't give much importance to make all of the difference in the end. Don't neglect your diet, your sleep, your exercise and your socializing. If you want to live a balanced life like that, you need to be very organized. Now my method of organization is to just use a calendar. I can visually see the entire week, which days I've got more free time and which days I have less. On the days where I have more free time, I'll cook dinner on that day and I'll make sure there's food ready for the days when I'm busy. And that way you can balance your life and you can actually make time for all of the things that matter to you the most. Use external resources wherever you can. Your medical school will give you lectures and things like that, but YouTube and the things you can find on the internet are unmatched. You can literally find pre-made flashcard decks, pre-made notes. You can find apps like Ambos that give you summary pages on literally everything in medicine. If you want to be smart about your studying, you could actually go through medical school without ever taking notes just by using the resources on the internet. So you should have a look at the Reddit page, Medical School Anki. You should have a look at my website and my medical school survival guide, which is completely free. These websites literally contain everything you need for an entire medical degree. Use the notes online and therefore save so much time where you would normally be making notes and studying and instead go and do the things that you enjoy while still acing your exams. Don't underestimate speed. This has been an absolute game changer for me in medical school. Learning how to study quickly, type quickly, efficiently make notes and get through everything in half the amount of time that the average medical student does made my life so much easier. I can cook and I can clean, I play football, I go to the gym, I have a social media audience, I post on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, I have a newsletter every week. The only reason I can do all of this is because when it comes to studying, I'm very, very quick. I just get it done as fast as possible so I can spend all of my other time doing these and other important things in my life. The final and the most important piece of advice is to find enjoyment in what you're doing. At times in medicine, you'll be studying something and you just can't be bothered. You have no interest in the topic whatsoever and it's difficult to find the motivation to study and continue going at those moments. The way I counteract that to think back to when I was applying to medical school, when I dreamed about being a medical student and now I'm in that position, I used to pray to be where I am right now. So for me to be ungrateful is just a disservice to my younger self. That's one mindset shift that really changes my whole perspective of medical school. Remember that as a medical student, you get access to intimate, sensitive, personal information from patients. The decisions that you will be making as a doctor, as a physician in the future, are literally going to impact people's lives on a day-to-day -day basis. That's insane. You are so privileged to be where you are. For you to sit and complain after putting so many years of hard work to get to where you are is just kind of pointless. And there are so many people who didn't get in and they wish they could be in your position. Try and have this positive approach to medicine. Approach it with the mindset of a young, enthusiastic student. So even in the darkest times when you're not enjoying things, try and search for that in the back of your mind. Don't forget, if you watched this far and you like the video, drop a like, it really helps the channel and it tells me that this is the kind of content that you're looking for. So I'm more likely to do more videos like this in the future.